I think I'm like close. <laughs> We're back uh, with another episode of Wine School, right, Ray? Yes, Wine School. We're back. Back That's by popular opinion. Um, I do want to address. <laughs> Popular demand. <laughs> <laughs> Popular demand, not opinion. Speaking of opinion, there were a lot of opinions expressed in the comment section on YouTube, uh, which is, that's great. A lot of people thought that I was an idiot. You're not. If you think that I'm an idiot, what will happen here will not change your mind. There's some drinking terms, some tailgating practices that I feel like that is my area of expertise. And it unfortunately is not mine. I'm gonna be quizzing Ray on what I know in my drinking terms. And I will be quizzing you about some common wine terms that I feel it would be helpful to know. These are gonna be common. Fairly. For everyone that I get right and everyone that Ray gets wrong, mm -hmm. we will both be drinking my drink of choice. Good old Natty Light. That is a Natty Light expert right there. For everything that I get right or you get wrong, you get to drink my drink of choice and I get to drink my drink of choice, which is red burgundy which um, uh, unfortunately in, you didn't actually like in the last episode, but, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Okay, okay. Let's see the round one. I go first, okay. Question is, do I know this term? Keg stand, sure, I know what a keg stand is. You know, they can go upside down on a keg. Or you go upside down and the keg goes on you. I forget exactly where that, yeah, I think you stand upside down on the keg with your hand, like your feet in the air and your hands on the keg. And have you <laughs> ever done one? Have I ever done one? Um, no, I've never done a keg stand. I've chugged a beer before. Okay. For this one. Have you done a keg stand? <laughs> Me? A keg stand? A lady would never. <laughs> You're right. That's right. Right, Jen? One for Ray. Yeah, okay, so because you got this right. Okay. There <laughs> Subscribe. I Oh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Is oh, that what yeah, that means? Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Oh, subscribe. Oh. Here. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe. Next term, icing. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. Uh, you have a cake, you put icing on it. Uh, Ray, 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 <laughs> please. <laughs> it's when one person hides a Smirnoff ice and then the other person that stumbles upon it, when they find it, they have to get on their knees and chug it. What a peculiar thing to force someone to do. Well, um, well, yeah, well, well, well cheers. cheers. You know, I, I did not know about icing. Yep, it's just as natty light as I remember. I don't think I've ever had Smirnoff ice. Really? Oh, Ray. Wait, we have one? Oh, please. Oh, thank God. This is not a twist off. At New York, it's no twist offs, right? All right. Smirnoff ice. Cheers. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Now, if he was actually being nice, he'd have to chug it. You'd have to get on your knees and chug it, yeah. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> darty. That's when you're saying dirty, but you have an accent. I, I don't know. Darty? Um, it's when uh, it's a game you play with darts and drinking. And if you get the dart in the wrong place, you have to drink something as a result. A darty. Uh. <laughs> that's so funny because you're the second person to think that that is some slant of dirty. It's because it sounds dirty. Who was it? <laughs> Jen. Jen. Yeah, in the fall you have football games. In the spring you don't have football games. So sure. you have to fill your Saturdays with some sort of organized drinking right. of some sort. And a darty is what you do. It's a day party. Um, gee, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Tis my turn. I'm nervous. I'm legitimately nervous. Roll. <laughs> Tide. Roll. That's what we do. I, 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 I know that, actually. Okay. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, that was it was a little bit lame for roll tide. You kind of could be a little more. <sighs> oh, oh, okay. Infanticide. Oh, infanticide. 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 Infanticide is traditionally when you behead a baby. <laughs> it's traditionally. That's not really the wine version of it. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so. Uh, it's a term in the sommelier world for when you drink a wine that was supposed to be like aged for 10 or 15 years and you're like, the heck with it. We're gonna drink it now just for fun. And so you open this wine that was supposed to age forever and then you drink it when it's really young. Cheers. Tay. Cheers. Tannins. Okay. This one is, um, we talked about this we last time. We did talk about so this last time. I, I should know it. You know, because everything you say, Ray, I do, I take it and I think about it and I journal about it. 
And I did, if I could simply have my journal to turn to for the day that we did talk about this, so I could, in fact, recall what this was. <coughs> what is it, Ray? What's a tannin? Uh, tannin. So, tannins are compounds in the skins of grapes and in the seeds of grapes. And when you take a sip of red wine, which you're now going to do because you don't know what tannins are, um, <laughs> cheers to that. You'll feel in, in your mouth, you'll feel it's a little raspy. It's what keeps wine from being just fruit juice. Mm. It gives the structure. Okay. I'm in the lead. You are in the lead. I have to get this one. <laughs> Neither one of us is doing so great. But you know. <laughs> it's, not, it's a low stakes game. Yeah. Magnum? No. Um, <laughs> Magnum is when you think the cork is bigger than <laughs> it actually is. I see. Is that? I think I'm right. Uh. Magnum is a double sized bottle. So, uh, I have some wine. Okay. Though I kind of hey. like your definition of it, I have to say. <laughs> oh, good. What happens now? You lose, you get punishment. Okay. Punishment? These videos are entirely safe for work, I'm just going to point out. Yes. Okay. Ooh, nonstop wine swirling. You must swirl a full glass of wine above your head during the next round. Above your head? Wow. That's going to be a lot of wine. Around. I'm going to stand far away from you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what, so do you have to like duck down? Oh, I swirled it. I splashed it. <laughs> Round two. Okay, so who's, who, I go first? Okay. Crispy boys. Well, let's see, crispy boys. Uh, that's like that white supremacist group, the Proud Boys. Uh. A crispy boy is a Bud Light that's been stored in the crisper to ideal temperature. Would you ever put a wine bottle in a crisper? For sure, why not? I mean, I'll put a wine bottle anywhere that will, well, that sounds wrong. Edward Forty Hands. Well, let me think. I have seen Edward Scissorhands. So I'm assuming that Edward Forty Hands is some guy who's got like a whole like, you know, five forties in his hand somehow and is walking around with them. Uh. Edward Forty Hands is when um, a individual, an, an individual, um, has two forties taped to their hands. Taped to their hands? And they can't get untaped until they finish all 80 ounces of beer. Who does this to, to themselves or to other people? People in fraternities. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, why should I even? Come on, Ray. You know? <laughs> okay, do I do the next one? Yep, yeah. All right. Okay. FOMO, fear of missing out. I got it. Oh, of course I got that. Wait, 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 wait look like an idiot. I've never heard that before. <laughs> you've never heard FOMO? Did you grow up in like, you know, Azerbaijan or something? It's my turn. Smoke taint. Mm. Now this actually was my nickname in college. <laughs> I should get this. I should get this. You should get this. Okay, it's probably his. Okay, I know cork taint is a thing. Aged wine in a cellar if the cork gets ruined? No. Uh. Am I close at all? No. Uh. <laughs> no. Smoke taint is when, like with the fires recently in Sonoma, people were worried about if there's so much smoke in the air when the grapes are growing that it'll affect the flavor of the wine. Bunghole, 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 bunghole. Wine is aged, right? Yes. This is radiating things I into your brain. <laughs> I know. I'm like <laughs> waiting for it to like whisper something yeah. to me. There's a hole in a barrel. This is aged. correct. Okay. Is that a bung? That is. What's a bung? A What's bung a is bung the little thing that you seal the hole in the barrel with. Well, 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 well. How about well, that? Look who stumbled upon a right answer. I like that. All on her own. That's funny. Am I smart? What's happening? Yeah, you're getting smart by the I'm second. I'm so smart. If you get this one right, you're set. Am I going to get this right, Jen? AOC, sure always on cork when the no, <laughs> no, um, uh, it's an Appalachian origin controle. Um, Appalachian origin controle. It means the it's an AOC is a designation of a region that produces wine in France. I didn't Here, get it right. Cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers. Ray, it's a tie. What do, we, what do do? we do? I don't know. I think we need, I, perhaps we need a tiebreaker from our producer. Yeah. He's so nice. Jen? <laughs> Jen? Yeah. If, if it's up to me, Ray, yeah. to settle this tiebreaker, there's a really only one way to do it. Have you ever played Flip Cup? I think I might have played it about a million years ago, back when I was young. Oh, sure. It's sort of an intellectual game. 
<laughs> it is. So you drink all the beer in the cup, yep. and then you put it on the edge, and then you flip it, and then whichever is the first to land um, up flat, flat, upright. Flat. Okay. Yes, correct. How good are you at flip cup? Black belt. No. Cheers. Cheers. Table. Table. Mouth. All right. I didn't I mean get around to it yet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do I get to let you like yeah, make try my it. attempt? Try it. Um. No. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> no. That's a no. <laughs> That's a no. My punishment's in the wine bottle, huh? Okay, right. Well, fine. Ooh. Be that way. I must duct tape a 40 ounce bottle of beer to my hand, and the duct tape will be removed when the beer is finished. You get to Edward Forty hands. I get to Edward Forty hands. I may I may not finish this before we're done with this entire thing. How am I going to drink wine? Oh yeah, this is the move. I haven't done this in so long. You got to go first. I'm right? feeling good. I'm ready? feeling so classy. Ready? Are you I'm ready? ready? Are you nervous? I'm ready. Too, I, at this point, why would <laughs> I be nervous? <laughs> Here we go. Haircuts. Um, well, let's see. Um, I got one the other day. When it comes to drinking is if you're wildly drunk and your friends basically cut your hair while you're unconscious. No. Uh. No. Okay. I'm just basing this on the idea no. that you would like get things taped to your hands too, you know? So a haircut, it's when a person gets on their knees yeah. and then another person walks up to them and in one hand they have orange juice and in the other hand they have vodka and they pour it in and then the person drinks it and then they mix it up sort of a shaker of the mouth and then drink it yeah that's another thing that i will not be doing anytime soon cheers which one both both cheers. both of them amy wine hands <laughs> when people when it's a girl who gets bottles of wine taped to her hands i mean edward 40 hands amy wine hands seems to go together that's right, which good. means we drink Pinot Noir, which obviously... Well, <laughs> which is a little tricky at the moment for me. Well, I have a straw for you for your oh, Pinot oh, Noir. that's very sweet of you. Um, so yeah, I should put that right there okay. for you. Do you, want me, I, do you no, need help I'll or you got to lean over, I think I'm good. Yeah, um, pro, he's a pro. Wizard staff, wow. Um, let's see, is what would you be drinking your wizard staff be? Is it when you like tape a bunch of natty lights together in a big column? Just saying, because there's a big, big bunch of natty lights taped together in a big column right there. Did I get it right? You got it right. I mean, it's like a competition, so right. throughout the night, you stack them and tape them, and ah. then the one with the longest wins. Hey, how about that? Wizard staff. All righty. Thank you, sir. I'm sure you want some bud? Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, I know. So you gotta have duct tape, which is sort of, this. I don't wanna be Martha Stewart, but if I may for a second, this is sort of a very precise process. Congratulations, I'm really impressed that you got this. I'm impressed, I've impressed myself. <laughs> I'm, done. I don't have a, I'm done, I don't have any beer. You know I don't wanna call this an Do emergency. Do you want some beer? Cause I'm I can like, help you out. You know what, I'm out of beer. Ray? <clears throat> so you gotta get all three of these to win. I know. The producer is laughing. <laughs> My, what the, Trock and Pierce whole house, Halassi. <laughs> what? Trock and Beer Nolassi. Trock and Beer Nolassi. I barely know her. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trock and Beer and Oh, if you, if you would like the pronunciation. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. It's a very sweet dessert wine from Germany. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Riesling. Um, a sweet dessert Riesling, very high end, very fancy. So it's just like a type of wine. It's a type of wine. Wow, that would have been like an easy guess. I'm so sad that I didn't just say a type of wine. I am sad too. Cougar juice. Women who seek younger men um, refer to wine as cougar juice because it's it's fuel. Jen, it's can you vouch? It's <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's not off entirely. It's so a uh, cougar juice tends to be a term used by sommeliers to refer to particularly like oaky, buttery California Chardonnays. Oh yeah. Women of a certain age who like to pick up guys who are younger seem to go for the big oaky, buttery Chardonnays. I don't know. Did you pick up a younger guy? She did. 
You did? Che yeah. I think, I think we, we should cheers both cheers. <laughs> you double cheers to that. What's up? It's the cougar juice. Um, she just got engaged. She did. Yeah, and he's only like 17 or something. I know he's 17. Yeah. <laughs> I got that right. I mean, I got it broad kind strokes, of, right? Yeah, kind of half right. I mean, she is the referee. I mean, I'm obviously have. I shouldn't have offended her halfway through. I think. Probably not <laughs> a good idea to offend the referee. Ready? Next up. Franken wine. It's a mix of wines. Like a, a blend, like a haphazard blend. Okay. None of those are correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's a term used for wines that are made with like a whole lot of like chemical additions and you know, alcohol modification and enzymes so that they're kind of like Frankenstein wines. They're not like, they're not natural products. They're just kind of, kind of you know, industrially made McDonald's wines. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, I did not get these correct. You lose. So first, I am going to free Ray. Thank you for freeing me. Sorry, this stuck to you. My hands are frozen. OK, so my final punishment <laughs> this is, is in the box. Champagne party style. You must open a bottle of champagne in the traditional style. I do hate opening champagne. I guess that's why they're nervous. making you do it. So she's going to open the champagne, Prosecco in this case. Prosecco, Prosecco. Ideally, seamlessly, with grace. I think I'm like close. Ah! Oh Good my Lord. god! <laughs> so it came out of nowhere. I did it's it. It's open. And there's no question that it's open. That's it. That's it. That's okay, it. Ray, you won. I won. <laughs> this was this but was, it was my close. It was very close. Was it? Hey, you got to tape 40 ounce bottles of beer to my hands. I think you should be proud of that. That's true. I mean, that is very you true. are the only person who's ever done that. Hey, cheers to that. Absolutely. Buddy. You know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, and let us know what you'd like us to do next, yeah. right? I mean, within reason, because, I mean, this is about as far as we're going to go. That's true. Well, I, I feel like I have a lot to learn, and today has confirmed that for I, me. I think I have something to learn about college drinking games, too. I know. We should play beer pong. Beer pong lives forever. To beer pong. To beer pong. Hey. Cheers. 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 Oh. One more time. Um, Refreshing. I'll say. Yeah. I don't know what we go from <laughs> there. <laughs> Help. Cut, cut the camera. Cut, 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 cut it out. Cut, 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 cut this. Cut, 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 cut all the cameras.